Welcome to All Play Games Weekly, where we bring you a weekly dose of tech news, games, and inspiration. I'm Brian Karsten. I'm William D. Bacari. Batten down the hatches and tighten your wagon wheels, pioneers. Let's get into it. PlayStation's director of social media, Sid Schumann, sent out a blog post last Thursday revealing that a new state of play will broadcast live on Tuesday, September 24th at 1 p.m. Pacific Time, 4 p.m. Eastern Time. The hefty show, as Sid describes, will spotlight new game reveals, news from PlayStation's worldwide studios, and some other updates. Last of Us 2 reveal date? <coughs> Excuse me. I have something clicking in my throat. Anyway, <laughs> check it out on live on Twitter, YouTube, Facebook, and Twitch. And maybe we'll get a date for Ellie and Joel's return. God, that'd be cool. Right? Yeah. All right, so Sony Interactive Entertainment, Microsoft, Google Stadia, Supercell, Wildworks, Ubisoft, Creative Mobiles, E-Line Media, and Twitch are all part of a global-wide organization called Playing for the Planet Alliance. The UN Environments Program says that part of the plan is to partner with game makers implementing green nudges in future hardware. President and CEO of SIE, Jim Ryan, says at PlayStation, we believe games have the power to ignite social change through educating people, evoking emotions, and inspiring hope. We could not be prouder to be part of Playing for the Planet Alliance, and we look forward to seeing what the industry can achieve together. The current PS4 draws approximately 8.5 watts in standby mode per hour, compared to the Wii U, which only uses about 0.4 watts. Currently, the Xbox One consumes 15.7 watts per hour. Lord! <laughs> Gamers, it's time to be aware of what energy we're consuming and how we can be better. And it looks like with playing for the Planet Alliance, we are heading in the right direction. Amazon is making big moves in eyewear this week with Amazon Echo Frames. Integrated fully with Alexa, the Amazon Echo Frames are designed to do everything Alexa does. However, it's only applicable with Android devices. Sorry, iOS. The new stylish frames do not include prescription lenses, but are designed for comfortable all-day use and are compatible with most prescription lenses. Nice. Open ear technology allows for direct sound into your ears while the microphones are designed to respond to the voice of the person wearing the frames and nobody else. The biggest question, when are the contact lenses coming? Heads up display directly on your eyeballs? Sounds scary, but I'm totally in. Me too. What do you guys think? Let us know in the comments below. And now for our gaming tip of the week, here's Overwatch GM, Pearson Guest with some insight. As you're playing, you're not that I want to necessarily sit here for 30 minutes to an hour every day and do this, but every time you're warming up, maybe this is something that players can do for about five to 10 minutes, just to kind of get yourself used to doing oh, yeah. it. yeah. And then you move on to something new. What Brian's doing right now is he's in the head tracking range. Essentially what he's trying to do is keep at that same head level at all times. He's not really moving up and down, only with the bot as it moves up and up this ramp right here. But it's notice he's trying to keep right there where the head is. And the, the better you can maintain your head tracking, especially with a character like McCree, uh, the more damage you're going to be able to do. Thank you, Pierce, for all your great tips and helpful tricks. As we wrap up this All Play Games Weekly, we have a quote from professor and philosopher Alan Watts. The only way to make sense of change is to plunge into it. Move with it and join the dance. So go out there and blaze trails, pioneers. From all of us to you, be well. <laughs>